Well, Queen City News continues to honor black history. Historically, black colleges graduate thousands of doctors, scientists, engineers, and tech professionals every year. About one in four STEM professionals graduate from HBCUs. But there's still a significant disparity in the medical and science workforce. Queen City News anchor Casey Jones take a closer look tonight at investments happening right now to encourage more students to study STEM. A joyous celebration. The next George Washington Carver, the next Jewel Plummer Carver, the next May Jameson. Marking the beginning of a new day for Livingstone College in Salisbury. The Shipman Science Center is now open, featuring a planetarium immersion theater with virtual reality technology, state-of-the-art labs and research spaces for biology, chemistry, and more. This near $9 million investment gives more than 150 students studying STEM the chance to have hands-on experience. Soraya Dempierre Solomon studies biology. Now we get to cultural cells and um, build and reproduce cells. That's something we've never been able to do before because um, it's a brand new facility. Pew Research Center found black professionals make up just 9% of the STEM workforce and fewer black students are studying STEM fields. The trends worry Don McNair, Dean of Math and Sciences at Livingstone. To feel like you can achieve something, you need to see yourself in that role. And with there being a limited or underrepresentation of minority students in STEM and as a whole across the country, um, I believe that that might be a deterrent. A report from the U.S. Department of Education found that only half of public schools serving black students in the U.S. offer calculus and 63 percent offer physics. With early uh, exposure and experiential education, we hope to shift the paradigm and uh, bolster that statistic. Livingstone now offers a new grant President Jimmy Jenkins says will help STEM students graduate from college debt-free with bachelor's degrees. We give the athletes grant aids and because we think athletics is important. But we think STEM is equally as important, if not more important. Dr. Jenkins says as more HBCUs get the funds and resources to attract top tier talent, the gaps in science, tech, engineering and math will slowly narrow. And as we get facilities like this, we may even be able to raise the percentage even higher so that we can have diversity in that field. And that will certainly, in, in fact, improve the overall production in the nation. As a transfer student from a predominantly white university, Solomon rarely had black professors and was one of only three black STEM students in her class. I think here, like, it's easier for students here to be connected with their teachers. With tracks in biology, math, computer information systems, and soon data science, Livingstone officials hope to increase STEM enrollment 25% in the next five years. Solomon plans to become a doctor in public health. A lot of people don't want to go to the doctors if their doctors can't relate to them. So I want to be that person that they can relate to and have a shoulder to lean on. Casey Jones, Queen City News. Well, Queen City News is honoring Black History Month all month long. And for this story and more, you can see right here, you can go to our website. And you also can click on the section of Black History Month on our website, qcnews.com.